Today I'm going to show you, I'm going to install a new module that I got for my uh, X200 tablet from Lenovo. Um, it's a, uh, I bought it off eBay from Hong Kong. And it's an Ericsson. <coughs> it's an Ericsson F3507G module. Um, and it's an uh, GP, G, blah, edge network, GPRS, basically um, I'm in Canada so I'm going to be using this with the Rogers network. Um, also got a SIM card with data plan only, no voice to plan. Um, and since I didn't get any device with it, um, I bought this myself. So I got the plan with no device and thus I'm not tied into any agreement. Uh, it's on a month to month basis. Um, try and do this fast. First, I just want to give. Uh, I just got this awesome new bag for my tablet. Um, it's from Waterfield Bags, um, custom designed. Uh, it's very nice. It's just a sleeve, padded sleeve, so I can put this into my uh, laptop backpack. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, made in San Francisco. Check out www.sfbags.com. Okay, so here we go. This fast. Uh, I've watched all the videos, so we'll start off. Remove the battery. All right. Need a set of uh, oh, small screws. Small screwdrivers. This is the right size. So we start off by taking the keyboard off. Alright, so I've removed the four screws for the keyboard. And I'm going to take it off. It says to open it up. There we go. Slide the keyboard up. And remove the attachment. So, keyboard is off. Next, it says to remove five more screws for the palm rest. Okay, so I've removed the five screws for the palm rest. Next, I will take that off. Okay, just so you all know, I'm having some difficulties with the two retaining screws. One of them I've got out, the other one is extremely hard to get out. My fingers are kind of raw right now. Um, I'm kind of worried about stripping it. So i got to figure this out. Alright, it's kind of difficult, but I managed to get the screw out. So now, it's time to put the module in. There we go, fancy little module. Alright, it's kind of tricky but I managed to slide it in there. Alright, so the module's in place. I've connected the um, red main wire and the red auxiliary wire. Uh, they do kind of click into place when they fit. So, now I'm going to put it back together again. Alright, I've got the palm rest screwed on. Let's put this keyboard back in place. All right, you can see it's all back together again. Feeling good. All right. Next thing I'm going to show you here is the, uh, the SIM card slot. It goes under the battery. Slides right into there. So. Pull up my Rogers SIM card for use in Canada. This is a uh, again data plan only SIM card. And it 
shows you here how it's supposed to slide in. And it looks like it just slides in very nicely. See that right there? Perfect. Alright, so this comes the battery. Pop it in, lock it on. Let's see what happens. Alright, first good sign is, obviously, it's turned on. First thing I'm noticing down here, right off the bat, I've got uh, oh, new hardware phone. Just the wireless and the Bluetooth is lit up right now. So I have, welcome to New Found Earth. Alright, so I downloaded some drivers from Lenovo for the uh, Ericsson Wireless Module Core and also the ThinkVantage GPRS software because this module has uh, GPRS built in as well. So, hopefully this will uh, make this card work. Found new hardware, Ericsson F3507G Mobile Broadband Mini Card Composite Device. Found new hardware, successfully installed, woohoo! Yeah, I'm gonna install this other thing Vantage software that I got with it too. Uh, this one. Let's see what happens. Drivers win GPRS. C drivers win GPRS. Okay. C drivers win GPS setup. Let's see what this one does. Uh, is there an, okay English United States? Yeah I guess. I'm in Canada but what are you gonna do? We speak the same language. Okay, here we go. Install ThinkVantage GPS. Accept. Install it there. Sure, why not? ThinkVantage GPS. Icon on my desktop now. Registering product finished. Okay, so for the last part, I'll use the screen capture to demonstrate. So now if I open Access Connections, I have this, uh, well it's on Wi-Fi, it scans all these access points, but I have the mobile broadband option now. If I click that, you can see there's a Rogers Tower here, uh, and I have the Connect option. Um, I'm just going to do a Find, because sometimes, uh, I don't know, it has information from an old tower or something, but uh, by doing this it'll look around for all the nearby cellular towers. Alright, so now you can see a bunch of Rogers Towers. Um, I'm just going to pick the closest one and connect. This uh, applying wireless WAN setting sometimes seems to take a few minutes. But it always seems to work, especially if you do the find now first. This is where sometimes you'll get an error if you don't do find now first. Uh, if you just see a, a tower and click on it and click connect, it'll sometimes error, so I always do that first. There you go, connection successful, mobile broadband. So close that, great, Rogers Tower is blinking green, you can close that and I'll demonstrate now. So Google, we have uh, internet, so... speed test. Alright, so if we pick one, let's say uh, Chicago, Illinois. It's advertised 7.5 megasecond download is the advertised speed, so depending on the tower, signal strength and stuff, uh, it's pretty good, 5.5 meg download. Um, upload is always not that great, but one meg is faster than my home DSL. And there you have it.